Okay, so question number Sodium carbonate and nitric acid total ionic equation. I'm guessing they just want us to find the total ionic equation if we have sodium carbonate and nitric acid reacted together. So first, sodium carbonate, uh, sodium has a plus one charge, and the carbonate ion has a two minus charge. So then we need two sodiums to react with our carbonate to get a neutral compound. So this is sodium carbonate, and it reacts with nitric acid, and its formula is just HNO. NO3. So when this reacts, you get sodium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Okay, so when we need to balance this equation, we have two sodiums on our reactant side. So let's put a 2 in front of sodium nitrate. And now we have two nitrate ions. So we just need to add a 2 in front of nitric acid. And now if we look at both sides of the equation, everything should be balanced. Okay. So now we just need to write out the ionic equation. And pretty much everything will, that is in its aqueous form will be separated into its ions. So when sodium carbonate is separated into its ions, we get two sodium plus ions. and one carbonate ion that has a 2 minus charge. And with nitric acid, we get two protons and two nitrate ions. And for our products, we get two sodium ions and two nitrate ions And then our water and our carbon dioxide remain the same since they aren't in their aqueous form. Okay, so this is the ionic equation. And now we need to write out the net ionic equation. So the net ionic equation, uh, it doesn't contain any spectator ions. So spectator ions are found on both the reactants and the product side. So in our case, two sodium ions are on both sides, and the two nitrate ions are on both sides. So our net ionic equation is just the carbonate ion plus two protons produces water plus carbon dioxide. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. Step one is to write the unbalanced equation, indicate the states of the substances involved, and then they balanced out the equation, yep. And now if we write the complete ionic equation, write all aqueous substances in terms of their ions. So that is correct. And then write the net ionic equation, canceling out the spectator ions or the ions both present in the reactant side and the product side. Okay, so the solution is correct. Okay, so those are all the questions for today's session. And if you enjoyed today's Q&A and you'd like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell below. 
If you'd like to submit a question of your own, then check out the links in the description. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, you can give, give it a like and a comment, or you can share it with your friends and classmates if they needed any help with chemistry. This has been Donna from One Class, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.